When I was an entertainment publicist in New York, I was able to be a fly on the wall for a lot of celebrities and, and see them at their most outrageous. And I really thought I saw it all. Then I came down to South Beach and wow, has my eyes been open. And I can't imagine what it's like for somebody who has lived here all his life and seen all of this and has the opportunity to photograph it. Imagine that. Well, sitting next to me is Manny Hernandez, who is Manny on Miami. Actually, Manny of Miami. Actually, Manny of Miami. Yeah. And if you've ever turned to the pages of the Miami Herald, Ocean Drive, several other publications, and you see the celebrities, most likely the picture was taken by this man. You see South Beach and Miami and the parties, and you see it through the, the lens of a camera as well as in your eye. So you get a different perspective than somebody like myself that sometimes go to these parties just because it's a good party to go to. And you're there, and you're always, you're always shooting this. So tell me, what do you see? I mean, for me, I have, I, have another, I have a job. So it's a job of capturing an event as opposed to just being part of the event. But when I take the picture, I try to, make, uh, I try to show people you know, that are not there. So, you know, and I like to capture the, the people and the food. And I take photos of absolutely everything when I'm at a party. So I'll shoot signs, I'll shoot, you know, d displays, people, uh, what they're wearing. So I kind of become like a, like not only a celebrity photographer, but I become a society photographer. I become a, a, a Bill Cunningham, pretty much, you know, fashion. I love, you know, uh, ladies with great hats and stuff like that. So for me, covering a party is not just a celebrity anymore. It's, it's capturing the event. Events are, are, are events. Right. Have they changed in the way they were when you first started and when we first I mean, came down here? And what do you think those changes are? You know, for me, uh, at least back in the 90s, you know, I used to focus on, you know, the celebrity that was coming in, whether it was Madonna or Stallone or Versace or whoever was coming to the party. Um, that was my focus was then. But nowadays is I focus more on the people that are at, at the party, what they're wearing, what, you know, uh, they're, if they're beautiful, if they're this or they're that, right? I like focusing on that. And then if a celebrity shows up, then, then I shoot the celebrity. What was the most outrageous thing you saw that you didn't take a picture of or you took a picture of and mm -hmm. nobody's ever seen? Oh man, Stuart, I don't even know what to tell you. I mean, I've seen so, I've seen so many things in, well, night, just pick one. in nightclubs. I don't even want to like, <laughs> you know, I mean, I've seen so many things. I can't, you know, there's a, a lot of debauchery <laughs> is probably the word, but, uh, and, you know, just there, you know, so uh, some things I photograph, some things I photograph with my eyes, and I just kept walking, I'm like, oh my God, that's happening over there, or this happened, because Miami Beach was that. What well, about the people, the quality of the people that came here that were in the magnet that everybody loved to watch, some of them were just outrageous for the fun of it, and everybody just enjoyed watching them be outrageous, where did that all go? They moved on, you know. Friends got high. Everybody made made a dash over the over the bridge to Winwood. And when you were growing up here in Miami, when did you know that you were going to be a photographer, and was that your first choice? No, I didn't. I I had no idea I was going to be a photographer. I, I wanted to be in entertainment and in some something with television or something. So I went into broadcasting. Um, I went into broadcast management, and I uh, graduated communications degree at FIU and uh, but you know I just started photographing you know taking they gave me a camera and I started taking pictures of events it was my part-time job and then when I graduated you know it was going so well that I just kept doing it and I never did any any broadcast management so but I used the management courses to help myself to manage myself you know, uh, and create something, which is basically, I created my career pretty much. I fell in love with photography. I, I enjoyed photography and, and that's why I kept doing it, you know, and uh, I feel like if, you know, you don't have passion for something, you know, you just, why do it, you know, if I, be at, a, at an office or some type of company where I'm not going to like my job and be there the next thing you know, you're there 30 years, and, and, you know, and okay, you got a, a, you know, you got a, one of those retirement things and all that stuff, but then, 
you know, you didn't do anything, really. All you did was wake up every morning, you had a nine to five, and I didn't want a nine to five. And so, and I haven't had a nine to five since, since I graduated. I never had a nine to five. Well, let me tell you something. I think you have found the key yeah. to just happiness. Yeah. Because one of the, one of the things we learned a long time ago when I, we did a project with senior citizens, those that were happy at the sunset of their lives were people that still had a passion sure. for the way they spent their time. And it, it was important that they did this to keep themselves active. So one last question, what's in the future for Manny Hernandez? Well, um, I actually have a, a, a book coming out. Uh, the book is, uh, is pretty much done. It should be out in the next, I, don't know, I would say the next month. But it'll definitely be ready for, for the book fair. Um, it's a, a collection of images that I shot in the 90s, all shot in negative film. Um, but it's all celebrity stuff. It's all the Versace and Madonna and all the heyday of the 90s in Miami. So we'll have that coming out. And then I'm working on a surprise exhibit for a New York photographer that's going to be during Art Basel. Um, and that's going to be a big show. That'll be in the Miami Design District. Um, but as soon as I get that and final, finalized, then I'll, I'll release the name. But, but it's, it, it looks like it's going to happen. And then we have Charlie Cinnamon's exhibit that runs now through September. And, um, and then we're looking at other, other possible places to take it. Well, I hope in the future you find a little time to come back and explain what all these projects are because they sound fascinating. Yeah, anytime. I'm, I'm so honored to be on your show. And, and uh, with you and your wife, you know, uh, I see you guys all the time around in all these events. And, and I see you with your camera and, you know, Everybody's been on except for me. I'm like, wow, how come I haven't been on yet? You know, I, well, there you, you know. are. Now, 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 now you're part of, of, of a special group yeah. because everybody that we have on the show is special.